And we have now some personal news to share with you this morning. Our boss, Rupert Murdoch, is transitioning from chair of our parent company, Fox Corporation. It's the news that Rupert Murdoch probably never wanted to break. The end of a 70-year career in which he built an international media empire with huge power and influence he was never afraid to use. But at 92, even he has had to bow to time, according to the biographer, who says he's lost his grip. And he's a CEO who's barely functioning. Um, he's, um, he's a 92-year-old man. This is not, not, not his fault. He's 92. He has probably been the person who has, um, who has held um, uh, the most power and the most influence for the longest period of time uh, during this era. Rupert Murdoch quit with a characteristic passing shot at his rivals in a letter to staff. Elites have open contempt for those who are not members of their rarefied class, he wrote. Most of the media is in cahoots with those elites, peddling political narratives rather than pursuing the truth. His critics here in the US and Australia might say exactly the same of him. Do you like the feeling of power you have as a newspaper proprietor, of being able to sort of formulate policies for a large number of newspapers in every state of Australia? Well, there's only one honest answer to that, of course, and that's yes. Rupert Murdoch never made any secret of his motivations. His ownership of the Sun, Times and News of the World and the foundation of Sky reshaped the UK media and its politics. His editors, by and large, loved him. I mean, he's clearly a one-off and, and possibly the greatest media entrepreneur of all time and certainly one of the most controversial. That controversy peaked with the phone hacking scandal that brought public shame. This is the most humble day of my life. And a custard pie in Parliament. <laughs> Like many giants, they can be good giants or they can be destructive giants, and, and Murdoch had both. He was very committed to journalism, loved journalists, was a stout defender of free speech and built some great media companies. But he, ethically, he, he was disastrous. His US reputation is defined by support for Donald Trump. Thank you to my very good friend, Rupert Murdoch. There's only one Rupert that we know. Fox News gave the president a platform, then knowingly peddled the conspiracy that his 2020 election defeat was rigged by voting machines, paying almost $800 million to settle a defamation case. The empire will now be run by Murdoch's eldest son, Lachlan, on the left here, who's won the real-life succession race to follow his father at the head of a family media dynasty built on division to the last. Paul Kelso, Sky News.